All right, I'm going to record our meeting. Um, yeah, I'll start in five minutes because I want to just give our friends um, the time. So, oh, one more thing you probably want. Well, you know what? I'm going to use an oil pastel for the drawing part. So that's the best thing to use because it's nice and dark and you can see it really well. All right. So I am going to move some of the stuff. I'm going to move so you have this nice clean thing to look at here. Um, okay, someone's waiting. I'm going to admit them. All right. Emma just joined. Hello, Emma. Can you hear me? I see. I don't see you, actually. Yeah. Oh, I see Hello. you. Hello. Hello. This is so much easier. Me too, yeah, the main pizza. I gave Google Meet a try. I was fed up with Google Meet. It didn't work out. So Zoom from now on. Easier, right? You guys are Way easier. Why do we do everything? <laughs> so you guys can chat for a minute or two. I'm still admitting people. Hi, and if you guys can go ahead and just put your name, um, like uh, Emma, if you could just put your name where it says Melly's iPad on the bottom, you can actually change your name, all you guys. Really? Emma, yours is good, Olivia, yours is good. Yeah, you should be able to. So, uh, well, I have to put I can't my last name. I'm touching it, it doesn't work. All right, just admitted another person. Good chat, everyone. And, okay, and admit. All right. We should. I feel like we just about have everyone. All right, guys. So if you could just rename your screen and just put um, your name there instead of your parents' name on the bottom left, you should be able to do it. If you, there should be like a drop down. Is there a, there? Yes. I think this is better. So we're going to use Zoom from now on. I just got an account with Zoom. It seems like everyone knows how to use it. The Google yeah. platform was a little funky and um, I felt like I was just having trouble every week. So, yeah. so we're doing Zoom um, and Rosie's here with me today. Rosie says hello. <laughs> she's the best. <laughs> she's my new kitten. Well, she's not really my new, I, I've had her a year, but when I got her, she was she's like, what are you doing? Why are you picking me up? <laughs> Yeah. All right, friends. I want to go over our supplies. Um, so you guys are going to want to grab a hot glue gun if you have one in your house. If you don't have yeah. one, then um, you could just use Elmer's glue. But if you got a hot glue gun, I would recommend grabbing it and plugging it in now and grabbing a few extra glue mm -hmm. All right. And you want to put it on a surface that your parents approve because, um, you know, uh, sometimes the glue can leak out. Um, so, you know, just have your parent help you with that. All right. You're also going to want to grab a bunch of oil pastels, okay? So that'll be the next thing. All right, and I also want you guys to grab your assortment of paints. I think uh, the very first thing we're going to do is, um, is we're going to do some painting first. So um, grab your paints. You don't have to put them out yet. Um, just grab them, and then once you have them, show me your supplies, and uh, we'll get started from there, okay? Okay, Emma, that didn't change anything. You have to try to load it up. Nom, nom. She wants your paints. Mm -hmm. I like looking at it. It's so much better. I can see everyone. Happy Burger, Mad Burger. Happy right. Burger, Mad Burger. You're a little low. I'm trying to figure out how to make you louder. Are you? Did you say <laughs> um, oil? Oil pastel? Uh, yeah, if you have some, if you, if Baby! Have, they're good, they're really nice and dark. If you don't have them, we can just use okay. our crayons. They're not on our list, but I know I have them in the house, so I'll go look. Okay, <laughs> no problem. No, I know that. Uh, um, do you guys see them? Yeah. Aww. You want those or the other ones? <laughs> so she is Amaya. Amaya. She's just Amaya. <laughs> so she's baby Maya. <laughs> like, I'm A. Michelle. <laughs> All right, and did you guys all take a second to rename your screen? <laughs> all right, could you rename your screen? Yeah, if you guys don't mind, if you could just rename on the bottom, if you're able to. Um, how? So you should be able to click the name that's already it's there. You see how it says Melly's iPad? If you click on yeah. that, there should be a drop down where it says change name. Um, and then you should be able to do it. This way, everyone can see each other's names. That's one of the beauties of Zoom also, is that we can all like Leave really alone. see each other here. Mm -hmm. I like it's not doing them. anything. If not, that's okay. We all know your are If you go to the I just feel like you can 
Judy, if you know everyone's name. Right? Um, My Nana won't let me figure it out. She says stop. That's okay. <laughs> no problem. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. You know me. I'm not like a strict rule person. It's just not my MO. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to do is this. Um, I want you guys to start to set up your palette. So I'm going to let you guys choose whatever colors you want. Here's some guidelines, okay? So listen to the guidelines before you start, please. Um, you're going to want a color for your background. So that's going to be the one that you want the most color of. Okay, and uh, we can also mix a color for the background, but you guys can all choose your own, all right? So in general, most of your colors are gonna be, I'm actually just gonna pin my screen here so you guys can see. Uh, let me pin my screen. Okay, so you guys can all see my screen, right? Yeah. So the yep. color that you want the most of, like that much, all right? It's really not a lot. It's not a ton of paint. You don't wanna go paint crazy. All right, the rest of your colors, I'm gonna show you how much or okay. no, that's not it. That's not it. So really just like a dot. You see how little? We want to stretch our right do it either as you go along way. Um you could put out as many colors as you like. Um and I I recommend putting out a white too for mixing. A little bit of white will be good. So you guys just take a minute. Um you can have again as few or as many colors as you like, whatever colors you want. Hey. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. All right. Make sure you have some paper towels. Oh, that's not how do it. Just stop. If you guys want to mute, um, you know what? I might. I think I can mute you guys. I'm gonna mute you guys. I muted. <laughs> um, just for a minute, okay? So there'll be times when I like when I mute you guys and I unmute the whole group and we'll have chances to talk. Oh, what but... happened? That's right. Just pull it out. Just pull there it out. Go. What the heck? Okay. I don't know what colors I want to use. You can use any colors that your heart desires. Black. Black and pink. Black you can and pink. some black. You can, I'm using a lot of earthy colors. You guys saw the project we're doing. Um, you're going to want some green in there um, for the leaves, okay? But okay. some of the other colors, you know, I want you guys to just have fun. What? But definitely have some green. Why? Okay. So you guys can see, I know that the lighting is not the best on uh, all these recordings. That's the only thing I would probably change. Guess what? Better lighting. Guess what? Just, guess uh, what my just paint tube just I did. I don't have any white, so I'm going to go grab my white. I'll be right back. Just for okay. Amaya. Yeah. My paint tube just farted. <laughs> is that? <laughs> It's pink. Come on, pink. Pinky. There. Get some blacky. And then some dark blue. All right, we have everyone, right? Okay, we got eight of us. I think that that sounds right because um, there's two of me, so that means there's six of you guys. All right, I'm just putting out some white in the middle. White is good for mixing. I like mixing white with my colors, makes them brighter. It's just a fun thing to do, all right? Okay, so um, can you guys show me your palettes? I just wanna see where you guys are at. I wanna see if you put out your paints. I don't wanna move too fast and lose you guys. Um, give me a wave if you're all done putting your paints out. Want to see mine? Hang on. Ready? I'm going to put you guys in gallery view real quick. Um, so give me that big wave if you put your paints out. I'm Lucia, waving. The only thing um, you might have missed is we need hot glue. If you have hot glue, Lucia. I do. Okay. So everyone's got to My mom has it plugged in. You don't need it immediately. I just like to heat it up ahead of time because it takes like five minutes to heat up. Yeah, that's right. what I like to do too. Awesome. How was everyone's Memorial Day? It was good. I yeah. feel like so bummed Ashley. because I ordered flag dresses for my two daughters. I ordered matching ones, and one came in time, and the other one didn't. And um, 
So I was a little mad about that. And my birthday is Flag Day. Does anyone know when Flag Day is? No. no. You guys don't know when Flag Day is? It's June 14th, so it's in two weeks. Um, so I always wear a flag dress on my birthday because it's flag day. And then this year I wanted my two daughters to also wear a flag dress because mm -hmm. it's flag day, you know? And then, um, you know, uh, Fourth of July is right after. So the flag dress was like really important. And uh, we, got, uh, we were a little bit sad that we didn't have flag dress for both the girls. But what are you gonna do? If that's my big problem, it's really not a big problem. All right, you guys ready to start painting? Um, no, I, need no, 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 no. I need to see big thumbs up from you guys. All right, awesome. I just want to make sure I'm not moving ahead too fast. Okay. So I asked you guys to have two pieces of cardboard that were um, like eight by 10-ish. Here's mine. Mine might be a little bit bigger than that. You're just going to pick one. So we're only going to use one piece of cardboard right now. And what we're going to be doing is we're painting our background. And I'm going to show you how, okay? So Wait, but what are we painting it on? Uh, what do you mean? What, what are we painting the background on? Oh, the piece of cardboard. So uh, do, we, do we paint the whole cardboard? Well, I haven't started yet. So you guys are just going to follow along with me. So just don't get ahead of me, okay? So everyone here, we're going to kind of do this together. We are going to be painting the whole thing. I'm going to show you how. So we haven't done anything yet. Big fat stick. So do you guys remember how I asked you to pour about double the amount of the color that you want for your background? So you guys can choose whatever color for your background. These can all look different. Okay. Um, the color I picked for my background is going to be, and I'm going to use a bigger brush for this. So I'm using like a big chip. This is called a chip brush. So a bigger brush. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my video where I'm doing my work. Oh, I think it's already pinned. Do you guys see it on your screen, the one with uh, my palette? Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's the one you see? Good, perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. So I have the most of this um, indigo blue color, and I'm going to mix a bit of white with it. So you guys can play with mixing your color, whatever color you want, but um, you want the most of this color because this is going to be your background color. Um, so I think maybe I'll put a little bit of green in there. You can play with mixing this color or you can use it straight from your tube, okay? So I got the color the way I want and then what I'm gonna do is paint the whole thing that color. Um, if your color is hard to spread, add a bit of water to it. It makes it more spreadable, okay? And you're gonna paint the whole thing and what you wanna do is be a spot detective, okay? So any um, cardboard spots, you want to brush over, okay? I'm going to let mine dry and then do a second one. Yeah, you could do a second coat, um, whatever you want to do, but try to um, kind of work along uh, side of me. So remember, whatever color you want for your background, that's the one you want the most of. And we're putting a thin layer because we also don't want it to take 100 years to dry. Because <laughs> you guys know if you go real thick, it takes a really, really, really long time to dry. But if you go thinner, it takes less time. And you can always do a second coat if you want to. If, if you find that the coverage isn't as good as you want it to be, you can go do a second coat after once it dries. I might have to do a third coat. You could do that. But remember, the more paint you put on there, the more time it's going to take to dry. So. Um, I would recommend um, two coats max. How's that sound? Good? Yep. And just have fun with it. Just have a playful attitude with it. I had to mix more of my color. That's something I try to avoid because it's hard to mix the same color twice. So you see, like, I just put that dot there. You could see it because the color is not exactly the same. It's slightly different. Um, I always try to mix a big enough pile of color that I don't have to mix again, but sometimes it doesn't work out, you know, because, you know, you can't anticipate every little thing. It's, it's hard to gauge how much paint you need for certain surfaces. So, so anyway, I'm just going ahead and I'm painting here. I'm making like little swirls with my brush. Yeah. Something I love about Zoom is that I can record these meetings actually. So I have us recording right now. So um, that's, I'm just, uh, I just upgraded to Zoom over the weekend. I'm really, really happy to have it. It's a good tool for us. And this How is really good. What's that? Uh, well, I have a function on my computer. You guys don't see it, but there's a little function online. It's a little record button and then it saves it to my desktop. So I, if, you, if someone missed the meeting, I could share you know, the meeting with someone who missed it. So I'm kind of doing a second coat actually right now. 
Um, I had a dark pink, but I want it to be light pink, so I'm mixing some white. So um, again, you just want to make sure you have great coverage. So, yeah. um, you know, be a spot detective. Make sure there's no spots. Rosie, get down, get down. Rosie the tuxedo cat is very curious. Yeah, Lucia, like, we lost you. In my cat you right here too. Lucia, you have a little sister? That's so cute. I didn't know you had a little sister. How old's your little sister, Lucia? <laughs> I didn't hear you. Oh, she's three? Oh. She wants to sit and listen. Oh. <laughs> That's okay with me. She can sit and listen. We welcome siblings. I have two daughters also. I have um, my daughter, Jackie, who's four years old. And then I have baby Maya, who is um, my seven cat is with me. What's that? My cat is with me. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sisters have a special bond, don't they? Okay. So once you have it all covered, um, just show me or give me a thumbs up because I don't want to move ahead um, too fast. You know, I want to uh, make sure that I'm not going too fast for you guys. I'm only like on my first code, not even halfway done. How are you doing, Denise? Hey, what? All right, I'm just checking in with everyone just to make sure everyone is uh, is doing good. No one has any questions. How are you doing, Lucia? You want to show me what you did? I love your dress. You're wearing a rainbow dress today. How are you doing, Emma? Good. good. I'm using a sponge brush to like add texture. Okay. It's really beautiful out. You know, the weather's getting so nice. You might even be able to do art outside in the next few weeks, you know? We took a lot yeah, of these. You could all bring your um you could bring your device outside and set up on a picnic table, you know? We have cool. a little itty bitty table, but it, I don't think it'll all, all the stuff would fit. I think I have it might take a little bit to dab all this paint. All right, let me see. So Amaya, I see you covered your um I see you covered your cardboard. Um did anyone else completely cover their cardboard yet? Or I'm not rushing you, I just want to um see where you guys are at is all. I'm just like by the end of this meeting, I'm gonna have no purple paint left. Uh oh, you might have to uh make a Michael's order. Those are uh, some of my favorite days is when I get to make an order at Michael's. And I think they might even have like curbside pickup soon. That's what I heard. So fingers crossed, right? I miss Michael's. I'm sure you guys do too. It's hard to wait for things. I think Amazon's been taking longer than usual too. I've been waiting yeah. for about two weeks for something now that I need, you know, a craft supply. So, but it will be really good once Michael's is up and running again. Wait, Michael's right. open. What's that? Is Michael's open? Um, you can order online right now, but um, I'm pretty sure on Wednesday, things are supposed, like retail stores like Michael's are supposed to start opening. So I don't know if they're going to be able to open exactly on that day, but I mean, I'm crossing my fingers, right? Wouldn't that be great? And I think you just like type in your order and then you just arrange your pickup time and they actually just, you know, put it together for you and do a curbside thing. So that's even more convenient. <laughs> I like it. All right, uh, Lily, how you doing? Just checking in. So uh, the paint is drying, uh -huh. and I won't be able to do all of it. All right, guys, just take your time. It's okay. I'm just gonna show you your next step, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wash my brush off, okay? And our next step is this. We're gonna be making swirls. Swirls are fun. You're gonna wanna pick a color that you can see against your background color. So I don't wanna pick a color that's too similar because I might not see it, right? So I'm gonna choose a different kind of color. I think, um, well, you know what? Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll use the lime green and I'll add a little bit of white to it. That's what I'm gonna do. You get to pick your color, okay? So it's like a lime green with some white in it, okay? And, oh yeah, that looks actually great. What we're doing is we're just making swirls around your picture. Simple, right? You're do, we use the little, do we use the detail brush? Uh, I'm using my thicker brush. It's up to you. You can use your detail brush if you like. Um, I'm just feel like using my bigger brush. So it's your choice as an artist. 
and you just want to yeah. start making these swirls. Um, mm -hmm. You can make them all around the same size or you can make them different sizes, but um, stick with the swirl shape, okay? Whenever you're ready and take your time. Don't feel like you have to keep up. Do all the swirls have to be the same color? Um, I would stick to the same color because if you do too much, um, it might compete with the stuff that we're going to add in the front of the picture. So I would actually make them all the same color. That would be my artistic advice. But you guys always have the freedom to do things how you like. Um, this isn't a graded art class. It's different than school. It's, um, you know, it's really like about finding your artistic voice. In a way. So um, I want you guys to feel like you can explore. So if you ever feel like doing something different than how I'm I doing have it. To, I have to wait because mine is still wet. Uh, you can paint on it when it's wet. Mine's still wet too and I'm painting on it. So you could, as long as it's not clumpy, thick wet, then you can still paint on it. So go for it. You don't have to wait. We're doing this now because we want our background to be dry by the time that we start to glue pieces onto it later, okay? So that's why we're doing this. But if you have clumpy sections that are very thick, they might take an eternity to dry, okay? So what you want to do is smooth them out, okay? Use your brush and kind of smooth them out or even use a napkin and pick up the clumpy stuff because that will just never dry. You might be here tomorrow still waiting for it to dry. Okay? That's like, you know, I already have on the plate. What's that? I feel like you guys can hear you guys so much better. Aren't you guys so happy? Yeah. We've been using Zoom for like my karate class. I use it in all my daughter's activities. Um, and I also use it for yoga. So like I knew about Zoom, but um, it's really a lot more powerful than we were doing before. Oh. So much more. She has the power to do this all. Like, yeah. This is you see, I just I filled my whole picture with swirls. If you feel like you missed a spot, you can always add. You know, you can. You know, there probably would be a swirl right there. So I just kind of made the illusion of a swirl, even though I didn't get to complete it. You know, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is where we're at. And once you have this, you could just go and put this to the side. Okay, we're just gonna let it dry. We don't have to look at this again until the end of class. Okay. So I'm gonna let mine dry over here. I'm, I'm gonna move my palette. I don't really need my paint palette right now. So I'm just gonna, I have a real small space right here that I'm using for my teaching. So I just moved it out of the way. And um, once you guys have your swirls, um, just show me where you're at so I know that you guys are ready to move forward. Hmm? How are you doing, Denise? Good. You want to show I'm on the swirl, okay. There's never any rush, okay? I know um, as artists, we all work at our own pace. Um, I tend to work really slow, actually. <laughs> I know you guys don't think that, but um, when I, I go painting all the time with my husband we and our kids, we bring them down to the water by our house and we set up and we do something called plain air painting, which means that we're painting our surroundings. So we paint seascapes, we paint pictures of the water. And my husband, it'll take him like two hours to complete a painting. Me, I have to go back like three days in a row before I finish. <laughs> so, I mean, everyone's different. Uh, one is not better than the other. Um, I say in art, the slowest person wins the race, not the fastest person. So it's different than other activities, right? So. If you keep a water bottle at your station, make sure it has a cap. It would really stink to accidentally knock over your water bottle and have it land on your device or on your artwork, right? And I say this from experience because unfortunately these things have happened to me. So always have that little cap. Yeah. All right, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys get outside later today too because it is absolutely gorgeous. I take yeah. my girl for a stroll. We do like a, a jogging stroller and she loves it. And uh, we listen to music when we jog. Oh, guys, I saw, guys, I saw this. I saw this man with his, her wife. The wife was um, biking and he had one of those like little, little two wheel thing, like one of those little things that you can scoot around on. Like it moves by itself. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's like a, like a, almost like a wheelchair that's like, uh, it, it moves on its own. It's like an electric wheelchair. 
Yeah, I, I had know. a wheelchair. It it's, was. Oh, okay. Kind of like a, kind of like a, uh, a hoverboard. Oh, a hoverboard. Oh, oh, almost like um, what are those things called? The Segway? Like they have them in the malls where you stand on it and it has like a top portion that you hold on to, but it just yeah. kind of. It's no, like, it has no top portion. Oh, it was, okay. it was just. Did it skateboard? No. It's like a hoverboard though, so like maybe it works like automatically, like you don't, I'd be worried about losing my balance. That's me. I don't know. I'm, I'm always, uh, it, like hover weird. up? No. <laughs> it's on the ground, like a car. Hey guys, like, can you all just point your, um, pictures down to your, um, canvas so I can, or your, I mean your, your board so I can see what you did? Okay. My hands are dirty and I don't want to get my mom's iPad dirty. Okay, no problem. I just want to um, see where people are at. I just want to make sure you guys aren't just like waiting around for me to finish talking. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, tell me when I got it. Emma. You just exited. Oh, that, perfect. That's great. Um, it's up to you if you want to make a last row, Emma. It's it's your call. You are going to get your iPad. Okay. Hey, guys, you all did a great job. All right. And uh, we're going to be moving on. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this picture and we're just going to put it to the side. So just put it somewhere and forget about it for like 20 minutes. Okay. So these will be drying. Um, it should be dry by the time we go back to it in a little bit. Okay. So next thing is you need your other piece of cardboard. You guys should have two, right? Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be drawing shapes together on this cardboard. So I'm going to show you all the shapes that we're going to draw and then we're going to cut them out. Okay. But I want to show you. Get rid of the cardboard. What's that you say? You want to get the cardboard? No problem. Take your time. I got it. I'm not rushing ahead. So I have recommendations. I would recommend grabbing an oil pastel or some kind of dark crayon that you can see really easily. Okay. The thing I like about oil pastel is that it's just very dark. So it's easy to see. So what kind right. of shape? So do you all have your piece of cardboard and your oil pastel? Give me a big thumbs up if you do. Eight. One, two, three, four. What about, okay, yes. And Lily, yes. Okay. All right, great guys. So we're going to get started drawing our shapes. Okay. So this is a watching part. You can always um, watch me first and then draw after. It's up to you. Okay. We'll take some time here. So don't feel rushed, please. All right. So here's my paper. I mean, my cardboard. And I'm going to start to draw my shapes. So in the top, we're going to put a lot of shapes on here. They're kind of not going to make too much sense. This is your bird. You want your bird to be really big. He's a big bird. Let's have him take up most of the top of your cardboard. Here's his shape. Kind of looks like, um, it looks like an upside down rainbow with like a little tip on the edge. It kind of looks like a hat. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I know I'm by the window and you guys are seeing like a little bit of a glare. Let me kind of pull this down. I'm, I'm just trying to hold this in the way. Um, so that's our shape, okay? And that's the most complicated shape that we're going to be making today. Is this good? Yeah, that's perfect. Um, anyone else want to show me what they did? Once you have this, just show it to me, and then I'll start moving on, okay? Or give me a thumbs up, just so I know. All right, perfect. Um, let me see there. Liv, it's up to you. If you want to make the shape a little bigger, you can always just draw right around the shape. You can use that same shape. We're going to be painting over these. You're not going to see your later. It's a pigeon. Uh, all right, that's up to, it's up to you. Um, it's up to you, Emma, if you want to do the shapes that we're doing, if you want to do a different thing. It's, it's really your call, okay? So if you have a different vision here, that's fine. Okay. I'm um, gonna make make it like sitting on the branch. Like, yeah, I want to. I want you guys to try to maybe stick with what we're doing because um, I have um, I have an order for how we're gonna do this whole thing. So you know, again, it's up to you. If you have a different vision for how you want your bird to come out, that's of course it's okay. All right. So here I am. Here's my bird. Remember, he's bigger. Okay. So now I'm gonna start drawing some more shapes. My next shape. This is actually gonna be a wing. So that's my next shape, okay? So later on, we're gonna cut this out and he's gonna go onto the bird like this. So you just have to trust me. What's that? 
Can I see your shapes? I can't really. I have it on the, um, on the, um. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I have two cameras on me right now. All right. So, um, so this is going to be the wing and you guys just have to trust me right now. You're like, what is this? What is she doing? What is she talking about? This is what you're thinking in your head, but you just, you just have to have a little bit of trust with me. I promise I'm leading you somewhere good. These are going to come out great. All right. Put your faith in me. All right. Next sheep. Here's what we need. We need one circle and then another circle that's slightly smaller. That's going to be the eye. Okay. And we're just kind of filling this whole thing with shapes, okay? So don't worry about where you put things. Um, we do have to fit a lot of shapes inside of here. So, um, you know, just, uh, just so you know, there's gonna, this is gonna be filled with shapes that we're gonna be cutting out in a little while. All right, I'm gonna move ahead. Next shape that we need, it is a, it's basically a triangle, but the, this part is flat. You see, so it looks like a triangle, but like this end part is just like flat. You see? Mm -hmm. Good. There you go. That's going to be the tail later. Okay? And then everything from here is easy peasy, I promise. Okay? So, you guys have all those shapes? Give me a big thumbs up if you're with me, just so I know, because I don't want to move ahead too much. Okay. Waiting just for a few more thumbs up. You don't have to color anything in right now. Okay, we're going to be painting these later. So no coloring anything in. All right. Um, we're going to be using a uh, scissor cutting these out and then we're going to paint them together later. So you just kind of have to trust my order. Um, okay, next thing is we're going to make um, we're going to make uh, six skinny leaves. Okay, I'll show you what the skinny leaves look like. They kind of look like a skinny almond. Okay, so one two, three, four. So it's just the same shape over and over. So I have six of them. Okay. You don't want to make them too skinny. Okay. Um, so just try to stick with like this size that we're doing here. And then the next thing we're going to do is, I'm just counting, we're going to make about 10 bigger leaves, okay? I'll show you what the bigger leaves are. So now, are you guys ready um, to move on or you want to give me a thumbs up? I can't gauge where you guys are at. I don't want to move ahead. Okay. Awesome. Ish. This is like ish, almost kind of, kind of, sort of. I get your idea, but I'm still working on it, you know. <laughs> I like it. I like the dancing. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you what the bigger leaves look like. You need 10 of the bigger leaves. So six of the smaller, 10 of the bigger. All right. So the bigger leaves look more like kind of like a lime mm. or a lemon. Mm. Okay, so it's one, two, four, so they're bigger. Three, five, four. Six, I'm going to put some over here. Seven, five. Six, eight. I'm gonna fit one. Nine. I'll fit one here. Ten. I'm gonna put them around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm gonna fit some here. They're gonna be a little smaller. Eight, nine, and fit another one here. It's all right. Some are smaller. Some are bigger. Okay. So at this point, here's what we can do. We can start to cut these out. All right. So I'm gonna start cutting mine out. Don't worry about mistakes. Um, there's no mistakes in art. We only have happy accidents. I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting. All right, and then I'm gonna give you some tips with cutting too. So you're gonna want a really, really good scissor. All right, so um, after you cut each of your shapes, put your shapes together in a pile, okay? So you're, you're inevitably gonna also make some scraps. Your scraps, put those in a separate pile so that you can tell which are scraps and which are your real shapes. All right, so we're just gonna start cutting these out now. I have a couple things I cut out. There's a few leaves there. Don't worry about organizing anything. There's nothing to organize, just um, 
just want to start cutting out your shapes and put them all in one pile together. We'll figure out what's what afterwards. My hand is tired. Your hand will get tired. It's bound to happen. Ooh, cut out the big shape too. What's that? We cut out the big shape too. Everything. Every shape that you drew, you're going to go and cut out. So, you know, if you need to take a break here or there because your hand gets tired, that's okay. Um, my I best recommendation is just using a really good scissor, whatever the best scissor you have in your house is, as long as your parents will allow you to. Or parents, you can help if, um, if you're not comfortable with the scissor thing. My thing with scissors is um, starting with them early and often. So like my four-year-old, um, we do scissor skills like almost daily. And I actually trust her with, I, I don't know if I trust her with this scissor because it's really is a sharp one, but I trust her with, um, with a uh, different kind of adult scissor. So, because I've been working with her so much on it. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just, you guys see my shapes. I'm just kind of putting them together in a pile. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way because I don't really need it. I know. So as and yes, I do know it's hard to cut cardboard. I know that I'm asking you to do something that's tough. Take your time here, there's no rush. Hey, you tell me. All right, so I'll just show you. Um, so this is my bird body here on the table. That's going to be my bird wing. All right, you don't have to like put it together yet, but I just wanted to show you where we're kind of going with this because I know you guys had some questions or you're like, wait, why is she making this shape there? I don't understand. Well, um, hopefully you'll start to start putting the pieces together figuratively and literally. <laughs> I'm gonna start putting the pieces together. All right, so I just put like my tail on my bird. Um, I'll show you what the eye is gonna look like. That's gonna be All right. You know we're gonna be painting all this too. So that's gonna be my eye and uh, the pupil of my eye is a separate circle. That's why I had you make two circles before. And of course, if you're not happy with how you made a shape, you can always redo it. You can always take a minute and, you know, like redo your shape. So in, um, in this screen here, you can see uh, what the bird will look like. Not that you have to sit there and put it together right now, because you don't. Yeah, I'm do. so tired. I know. <laughs> I know. I know it's difficult to cut cardboard. I know I asked you to do something this hard. Um, it'll be worth it because your pictures will come out beautiful. I promise. Yes? No? What's that you say? Is someone asking you something? Or? Thank you. Yeah, right. Great. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss something. Hey guys, I want to tell you, I just posted our summer classes online. We're going to have online classes for summer. Um, and I have a lot more offerings and a lot more for painting. Um, some of the classes say that they're for tweens and any of you guys in this room can join that. I know it's, it sounds like it would be too old for you, but um, I'm gonna be teaching all of them and I would absolutely let you, any of you guys join that class. It's totally fine with me. I think you guys could all keep up just fine. Um, so there's a whole lot of different topics. I have a fan art topic. Fan art is um, like drawing like superheroes, like Superman, Spider-Man, um, stuff like that. My husband, Stelios, is gonna be teaching that one and that's sure to be a hit. Um, I also have an animal painting class. Animals! All just painting topics. Um, so I have that. Um, On the animal painting? Well. What's On that? the animal painting class, can you, um, can we paint horses? Uh, there's a different animal each week. It's going to be a step-by-step -step painting. I don't think a horse is on my list, though. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you can actually see right on our website what the week-to-week -week projects are. I have them all planned out, and uh, it's all right on there. So you guys can check that out later. 
Um, I also have a beginner painting techniques class. Um, so each one is going to be guided step by step projects, just like we're used to. But it's not going to be like the crafty stuff like we're doing right now. It's it's 100% painting. Um, so it's going to be a painting summer. Yeah, I'm not going to do a painting summer. I want to do my summer to relax. I hear you. <laughs> play video games. All right. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be in there either. Okay. So I'm just about done cutting out my shapes here. I'm getting close. I know it's going to take you guys longer. I have a lot of experience cutting shapes. Okay, so I have all my shapes here. I'm going to throw away my garbage quick because um, sometimes it, having to look at a pile of garbage can be hard for me. So I'm just going to go and um, just chuck my garbage really fast. So I'll be right back. I'm going to jump out of the picture and jump back in. Be right back, guys. You know what, guys, while I'm waiting for you, I'm going to actually glue my bird together. So once you're ready to, you can glue your bird together, too. Um, so I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I just am grabbing my hot glue. Okay. And uh, so you guys can, you should be able to see me in, uh, in the screen, right? Can you guys all see the screen with my table? Yeah. Okay. So you guys just want to look up for one second, okay? Because I'm going to show you how to glue your bird together. You don't need a ton of hot glue. Hot glue goes like a long way. Have your mom or your dad or your caretaker help you um, with this step. Okay, so I just glued on the wing. Next, I'm gonna glue the eye on. So I'm gonna put one thing of glue there. And then I'll put another piece of glue. So it's kind of like 3D. All right, and now my tail, that's the last thing. Just like that. Right now I'm gonna put my hot glue away. We'll use it later. We don't need it this second, okay? After I cut out, out, out this, I won't be able to move for a week. Okay. <laughs> Lily and Denise, I don't see you guys. Um, it's okay if you want to keep your camera off. You don't have to have it on. I just want to make sure you're still with us. I am right here. Okay, you never have to keep your camera on if you don't want to. I have students in my other classes that um, prefer to have their camera off. It's totally fine with me, just so you know, okay? I know sometimes it can feel like a lot of pressure to have to be on a video the whole time. I know that because I'm the teacher and I'm always on the video. So it's, uh, it can be challenging for sure. All right, I'm just checking in with you guys. Um, did anyone finish cutting out their shapes yet? If you finished cutting your shapes, give me a big thumbs up. Just so I can see. All right, I see one. So Lily, Liz, Amaya, did you cut yours out? I can't tell. Um, my grandma's cutting some of mine out. Oh, okay, all right. Um, and but I cut yeah. out most of mine, so I'm <laughs> almost done. Emma, how are you doing? Did you cut your shapes? Or are you still you're working on them? No rush, just checking in. Yes, man, I need help. Okay, you have um, someone's helping you. Yep. Okay, and what about you, Denise? Um, how are you doing cutting your shapes, Denise? Good. Hold on, let me just finish cutting. All right. So you know what I'm gonna do? Um. The rest of you guys, we can actually start to paint. And um, so, you know, while you're cutting your shapes, you can look up at me to see um, guidance on this, okay? Do you ready to glue your bird? So this is a really fun step. So you guys get to choose how you like to do your bird. So I'm gonna do my bird just like the one on the, um, just like the one on the, the picture that I sent you. So mine's gonna look like that, but you guys can make yours however you want. So you can have some fun with how you paint your bird. 
okay? And the leaves as well. So the leaves, um, here's my recommendation for the leaves, okay? You can paint your leaves, um, they could be different colors, whatever colors you want. They could all be the same color, however you wanna do them, okay? But just paint them a solid color, and then once they dry, we can use oil pastel to draw the veins and things like that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my painting. All right, I'm gonna grab my little pad. Here it is. And um, I am just gonna start, and you guys can just start whenever you're ready to, okay? I don't wanna hold you back if you're ready to start now. All right? So. Okay, Anna. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Oh, you know what I'm noticing is I have like a lot of little strings on my um, bird from the hot glue. So if you have strings, you're seeing little strings everywhere, pull the strings off first. I think it's like all my favorite colors. I'm painting the eye right now, you guys see. So I'm just kind of painting around. Um, I'm gonna wash my brush. Maybe I'll actually use my smaller one for this. Um, you could choose, you know, uh, whatever color you want for the eye. It doesn't have to be the normal color. It doesn't have to be black at the center. You can put a different color. Do how you like. I want you guys to have fun, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna just start painting mine and uh, I'm gonna start with my bird and then I'll work on my leaves after. And make Guess what I named my cat in one of my games. Oh, uh, what'd you name him? Major Caldoon. That's funny. <laughs> do, you know, do you know where I got that name? I do not. Where'd you get it from? Zoo, I, I got it from Gamer Soup. Uh, what's her name? Gamer, uh, Gamer Siri. Oh yeah, so I'm not much of a gamer. When I was a kid, I, I definitely was, but the games, you know what games we had when I was a kid? What? Take a guess, guess what game system I had. Didn't have the Mario Kart? Part. Uh, no, actually I'm older than that. So I had the original Nintendo. Oh. I also Why? had, we most of the original that. Nintendo is what I had growing up. I had Super Nintendo as well when I was older. But mostly in my childhood, it was like Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3. I also had Atari, which was even before that. That was my parents before I was born. So I used to play Atari 2. That's right. Um, so we didn't have this uh, internet stuff yet. Internet came out later on. Well, it was probably out already. I have a feeling it was, it's been out for a very long time. But it wasn't like in people's houses until later on. So we didn't even have my first computer in my house until I was in about seventh or eighth grade. Wow. And um, I wasn't even allowed to use it. Only my dad could use it. <laughs> so, and then um, once he started to trust me to use it, there used to be this thing where like, um, if you were online, you know, doing instant, I used to love to do instant messenger with my friends. If my, my dad would say, all right, you've been online for too long, you pick up the phone and that would knock me offline. Isn't that funny? Oh. So that's how things used to be. In the um, I'm sure your parents can tell you more stories like about that, what that was like. Um, so, but yeah, so the gaming system that I had as a kid was Nintendo. <laughs> the original. My dad had like, like What's that? Really old Nintendos and stuff somewhere in the garage. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, well, um, Teddy would teach us how to play it. There's actually a place in Miller Place where they sell all the old gaming systems. It's called um, Game On, and they're really nice. I love that store. I've been in there a number of times. I actually sold them all my old gaming stuff because uh, we don't use it. So, How much did you get for it? They didn't get much. It was more like a donation to them than me trying to make money. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's okay. I, I hope they made a little bit of money from it because... Um, you know they're a little store just like we are and uh you know i hope for their success so uh so yeah i hope they did all right um okay so now i'm gonna do the wing hmm. yeah i'm trying to kind of like make all the portions different colors i just mixed this color it actually looks just like the cardboard you can't even tell i'm painting it isn't that funny um it's the color of cardboard all right so my birdie's painted, yay! Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some fun little spots on my bird. I'm gonna grab my uh, really thin brush here and um, I'm just gonna start to make some little dots. Dot, dot, dot.
Okay, so I just did dots all over the tail. Sorry, I know I was out of the screen for like a second. Um, and now I'm gonna also do some dots on his wings. So I'm really just kind of following along with the picture that we printed. But you can do yours different. Again, I want you guys to know that you have artistic license. Um, you can use your artistic voice however you see fit. You don't have to no. We are playing with dimension today, like the way that we did the eye, the way I glued the eye together. Um, there's a lot to do with dimension. So it's very three-dimensional. Is my screen frozen? Uh, no. no. The one oh, that yes, has... for me. For me it is. Yeah, I think it is here too. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, my screen's definitely frozen. Hang on. Um, you can actually exit, like, turn your video off. Uh huh. Oh, you know what? Back on, and sometimes that works. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that thing. That's exactly what's going on. Um, or my phone might have just died. I think that's what happened. I think my phone died. All right. Um, let me see here. Yeah, my phone definitely died. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, I, I just left the screen now. <laughs> now I'm completely off the screen, but I'm still on with my main computer. So this is how I made my bird. You guys can see me here, right? Oh, you know what? I'm just restarting my phone. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's at 0%. You know what? So we're just gonna use the one camera here, all right? Um, so I'll just show you using the main screen, okay? You guys good with that? Okay. And you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so there's that. All right, I'm going to put him away. And um, this is a fun step. So you guys saw the bird. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint all of my... Um, we have to paint the tail. Uh, yep, yeah, so I made my tail white. I know my hand's in front. So, ah, ah. Here we are. So um, I made my tail white. And, uh, but you guys get to make these however you like, all right? I try, I'm gonna try not to be so frazzled, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna put this down and uh, I'm gonna paint um, my leaves now. So I'm just gonna make them all solid colors. This should be fast. Do you see how fast I'm doing it? I paint mm -hmm. it, I put it down, I grab my next one. Let's see how fast we can paint these leaves, okay? Um, they can each be different colors. They can all be the same. Whatever your vision, I'm going to do mine different colors. Okay, I painted it. I put it down. I grabbed my next one. I could do a bunch the same color. This should be a one, two, three thing. Okay, so don't take too much time with this step. Um, let this step be fast. All right. Everyone's up to painting, right? I just want to see thumbs up if you're up to painting with me, just so I know. I'm almost done. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, what about you, Liv? How are you doing? Checking in. Are you still cutting? I'm just finishing my wing. Are you painting it or cutting it? Oh, you paint it. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure you were up to painting. I couldn't tell by your face. That's the thing about teaching art <laughs> virtually is it's more difficult than teaching other subjects because um, the camera's on your faces and... Um, it's just a harder way to teach, but it is what it is, right? I'm not complaining. Yeah. I'm glad that we get to I'm teach. I'm actually doing something different. I'm not putting a pupil. Okay. Because when I'm done, I'm gonna make it like um like sleeping. That's Melly. Uh, I'm sorry. That's um <laughs> Emma, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. Sorry, it says Melly on your screen, which is why I keep calling you Melly, even though I know your name is Emma. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't me. Oh, that wasn't you. Who was just talking? Lily. Oh, okay. Nina, I thought she said something else. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm also, um, like, looking up and down and all around because I'm painting mine with you. Um, so I just made one of my leaves blue. You can make them whatever colors. Use what you have on your palette. Don't, don't pour more paint. Use what you have here. I'm sure you have good colors. I have, like, so much leaves. I know. Don't worry about your mess right now. We'll clean up the mess later. Um, so I'm going to do another one here. It's gonna get easier from here on out, I promise. So the next steps are the easiest ones. 
I'm going to do a couple of my leaves orange. I'm not even washing my brush. I kind of like when the other colors contaminate my color because it makes it more of like a neutral and I prefer neutral colors. So I'm going to do a couple of these orange. Yeah, Looks more like a brown on the screen for some reason. Um, oh, there's a color I never used. <laughs> okay, I think I painted all my pieces. Um, so I have everything painted. Friends, my hands are a mess because I'm running around a little bit. I'm going to give my hands a real quick wash, so I'll be right back, okay? Okay. You are going to love it. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put this all together now. All right. So you may not be up to this, but I'm going to show you anyway. So you can, you know, I'll stay on with you for a few extra minutes like I normally do, okay? Um, but I'm going to start putting it together, okay? So give me a big thumbs up if you're ready to watch me, just so I know. I hate to like move forward and not have you guys with me. I'm almost done with painting my leaves. All right, or you could just do the thing where you just kind of glance up. All right, so uh, I'm gonna try my best to see in the screen my outlets far away from my hot glue. <laughs> all right, so first things first, you get to decide where you're gonna put your bird. Do you all have to put your bird in the same place? No. No, of course not. Better, better yet, okay, you can decide the orientation of your picture. So if you want it to be, mine's kind of a square actually, but yours might be more of a rectangle. So if you have a rectangle shape, you can decide if you want it to be um, horizontal or if you want it to be vertical. So you can decide how you're gonna be hanging this. Um, this is more vertical for me. Mine's not a perfect square. Um, I am gonna put my birdie over here because this is where the handle was in my box and I wanna cover that so no one can see it. <laughs> I'm actually, you know what, I think I'll turn it this way. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put my hot glue down first. Now don't do your hot glue in a rush, you know why? What happens if you do your hot glue in a rush? You might burn yourself. Right, and you don't want any burns. I remember there's, a, there's an actually funny story. In um, preschool, we made these penguins for our Christmas tree at home, and I burned myself. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Guys, I am going to just put this out there. At some point in your life, you will burn yourself with hot glue. It hurts a lot. It, is it the end of the world? It's not the end of the world, but it does hurt. So I recommend being really, really smart and really careful. Yeah, so next thing like I, do, I put my bird down. After the bird, whenever you guys have like a little branch, you can go ahead and glue your branch. Okay? So that's my next step. That's what I'm, I'm done everything. I did it. I'm done. All right, so I'm going and I'm putting some hot glue for my branch. The branch is probably going to require more hot glue than you would usually use because of like the shape of it. Oh, I did just burn myself. Ouch. See, if it happens, you go, ouch. I'm holding it down for 10 seconds. So I do that 10 second rule. Different than the five second rule for things that fall on the floor. <laughs> Which doesn't really work, actually. Which I'm just really kidding about. But, um, okay, so I put my branch down. Guess what right. my mom does with this five-second rule? And we all, as moms, we kind of all have like a five-second rule. No, no, she she picked she ate something off of the of a of a public floor. Oh boy, we're hearing everyone's secrets, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so it was it was it was my mom, to put on their listening ears for this last step. So ready? So your pieces, your pieces of leaves are still wet. That's okay. We're still gonna glue them on while they're wet. Okay. 
Um, it will work out. I promise your fingers might get a little dirty. That's the only bad thing that might happen. It's not really going to change anything. And I just want to give you guys a little bit of tips here. So when you glue them down, you can glue them in all different directions. You can get really jazzy with this part. All right. And I want you to. Let's have some fun. Okay. So I'm going to start to glue down my leaves. You do not need a lot of hot glue. I'm going to have my leaves come off my page somewhere. That's called breaking a boundary. Okay. Can you guys all say that? Breaking a boundary? Breaking a boundary. So, you know, that, that's a cool thing that artists do sometimes where pieces come off the page like that. That's called breaking, breaking a boundary or breaking a border. Either term can be used. So I, I really want mine to break the border. I just think it's fun. It will make it more interesting to look at. You don't need a lot of hot glue here. Most likely your background should be dry at this point, unless you went super thick and heavy with your paint. Branch. Um, there's leaves that have to come off of it, and we're doing like the leaves right now. I don't think so. Miss Michelle? Yeah. Do you think we would be able to glue, uh, glue the branch on at the end? Yeah, sure. Just make sure you leave some room for it, okay? So you okay. can have to kind of measure, I guess, how much room you'll need. Or do like a like an informal measurement, like a not a real measurement, but just kind of you know look and see. Okay. Right. So I am finishing up gluing my leaves down. I'm Excuse feeling like me, Miss Michelle. Yeah. I'm all done. Who is talking? Is that uh, Emma? Yeah. Okay, just give us a minute. There's one more step when you think you're done. All right? Um, that last step is going to be using your oil pastels to draw the veins on your leaves. And it's an important step because it's yep, going to be. You did it already? Can I see? Yep. I can't see. Um, okay, you just moved. Your camera's kind of coming in and out. Oh. Uh, yeah, I didn't see it. If you just showed me something, I didn't see it. I just see red right now. <laughs> okay, now I see it. Oh my goodness. Wow, guys, do you all see what Emma made? Oh. That is so gorgeous. Guys, can you all do me a really big favor? This means a lot to me. Some of you guys have been doing it. Some of you haven't. Don't worry if you haven't been doing it. I would love if you emailed me your projects, your finished projects. Um, you guys all have my email because we've been emailing back and forth for weeks. Um, just snap a picture with your device and um, send me a picture of your finished work and I will feature you on Facebook. Okay, I have a Facebook page with a huge following. Yeah, I love when I can feature students. So, you know, parents, um, caretakers, as long as you're okay with that, I don't have to put your child's full name. I usually just put a first name. Um, I don't usually post pictures of your faces unless you give me permission to. Um, okay. You can post a picture of my face. Okay, well, you know, your parent can let me know. Um, there's never any pressure. I never want to make anyone feel like they have to do something. I'm not wanted by the police. That's good. <laughs> All right, so i show you our last step. Emma, yours came out so beautiful. I can't wait to see how these all come out. So, um, my, mine's still a bit wet, but what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna pick some leaves and you're gonna start to draw the vein on the leaves. And I'm holding mine up while I do it, so I'm gonna have a harder time than you guys would. This one's really wet, so I'm gonna save that one and do it later. This should be an easy step. It's, it's just harder for me because I'm holding up my picture while I'm doing it. Um, okay. So this is a playful step. Let's have some fun here. You can change it up and you could, if you like, you can do different color um, veins. You can do some one color. So I'm using like a dark purple right now, um, you know, and you can change it up and have some of them be a different color. I might just make all mine the same color. I'm just giving you guys ideas because, um, you know, the more ideas you have, the more things you can do with your picture, right? So 
we're just having some fun here. This is gonna make your picture even more interesting. So maybe I, actually maybe I will. I'm gonna use some red now. Ooh, that's beautiful. That really dark, rich red, beautiful. Okay. I'm using red for my swirls. Okay. I'm realizing that I didn't glue some of my shapes well enough, so I might have to re-glue them. You know what's funny? I'm hearing birds outside right now. Oh, you know why? Because I have my window open. Ah. Yeah, that's probably the reason. We might have summoned them with this project. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to yes, hear my window right about my window. All right, guys. I'm just about done with mine. Yeah, I'm done. Getting there anyway. You know, if you have any ideas, like if you want to draw into your birds some more using oil pastel, you can do that. Like if you have other things that you'd like to do, um, you know, maybe uh, it, it's really up to you. I mean, I think my picture's done. I'm not going to do anything else to my picture, but if you have other ideas, um, you're welcome to do them. Okay. So now I just want to talk about how you might hang these up. Okay. Because you might say to yourself, well, how am I going to hang this on my wall? Right. So um, something that you can do, just an idea, um, you can uh, use a staple, a stapler, or if you have a parent with you that can do this for you, a staple gun. And what you could do is use a, um, a piece of yarn and just staple a piece of yarn. So boop, one staple, then boop, the other. And it's just like a piece of yarn here. And then you can actually hang it on like a thumbtack on your wall. So that's what I'm going to do to hang mine up. Or of course you can lean it against something. Um, like if you have a cabinet or something, you can always lean it against it. But these are coming out so beautiful that I really hope you take some time and show them off, right? They also can make a really good Father's Day gift, right? Father's Day is coming up. That, that's what I'm gonna do. For special person's day, right? Yeah, but I can't give it to my birth father because his place is a mess. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I get ruined. Yeah. Well, that's the idea with special person's day is you can, um, you can choose someone, you know, doesn't, you can choose whoever you want to give it to. So it's up to you. All right. Oh, Amaya, let me see that. So guys, can we all take a minute as we finish up? I just, I really do want to see how they're coming out. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty, Amaya. Very good job. Very, very good job. I'm just looking for my mouse. Oh, here we are. Okay. Oh, nice live. Oh, that's beautiful. I see it's, uh, it's really coming out great. So you're going to glue down the rest of your leaves, right? All right. Good job. Definitely send me a picture when you're done. Lucia, beautiful. So Lucia, you still have to glue down your leaves, it looks like, right? Did you already glue them? And uh, just checking in with Denise because your camera's off. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, these really are coming out beautiful. All right, guys. So um, I feel like we're just about done, okay? Um, so I'm gonna end our meeting in a minute. Does anyone have any questions? Hey, Denise, did you wanna show me your picture? Oh, beautiful. So you just have to glue down your leaves. That came out great. Guys, please snap a picture of these and send me through email, okay? I only got a couple of pictures from you guys so far, and I love looking at your pictures, and I'm just so proud of the work you guys are all doing. Really good job, everyone. All right. Okay, guys, does anyone have any questions, or uh, you guys are all really good on this? Is my show, do you like mine? Let me see who's talking. Is that Lily? Yeah. Nice okay. job, Lily. I love it. I, you know what? I love Lily. I love the way you did the dots in the bird. And um, oh, yeah. I also love the colors of your leaves. It's so colorful. It's so pretty. Yeah. I use like my favorite colors and stuff. You guys did great. All great. right, guys. So I'll be, I'll be emailing you guys. I'm going to be, I'm probably going to stick with Mondays. It's the day before our class, but I'll try to email you early with um, our project ideas. We have two more weeks left. And again, I posted our summer stuff. I have a lot of really fun offerings for summer. So um, parents, caretakers, if you have questions, feel free to email me. I can tell you all about it. I'm teaching most of them myself with, um, with Stelios. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys get outside and have a beautiful day, okay? Take care, everyone.
Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.